Let's look at how to add a waterfall chart to our analysis. A waterfall chart is great for showing variance analysis or return on investment, among other things. So let's put here free cash flow. We're going to start at point zero. And then we're going to link up to above the free cash flow in each year, which I can fill right with control R. And then at the end, in the last cell, I'm going to write equals sum. And I'm going to sum up the preceding columns. So we have a start point at zero. Then we have individual years of free cash flow. And then we have an end point with a total. So I'm going to select this. Insert. Recommended charts. It's not suggesting the waterfall chart, so I click on all charts where I see waterfall. If you're in an older version of Excel, we've attached a template that includes a waterfall chart. Waterfall charts do not exist in other versions of Excel, so please use that template if you don't see waterfall chart here on the options. If you do, please follow along here with us as we build the waterfall chart. And we click OK. Place it down here. And a few quick things. The first is, if I select the final data point and I right click on it, I'm going to click set as total because that's our ending position. I also need to do that with the starting position. Since it's zero, it's hard to grab. So I'm just going to type a number in here for now. This way, I can right click on it and put set as total and then change it back to zero. I'm also going to format these, this one to be blue, since it's a hard coded number. So we start at zero, and we have negative a million outflow. We have these positive increases, and then we have our ending position here of total free cash flow. If I right click to select data, I can select the axis labels, which will be these columns here. I'm going to delete the grid lines as I have in other charts here. Then perhaps I'll expand this out just a little bit wider and place it in the middle and call this free cash flow. So this is a great way to visually see how this investment works. We have a negative outflow, positive inflows, and our ending balance is this number here.